Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Although it's only six minutes into the afternoon, so it's basically good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know what? It's fine. We've got live at 10 a.m. Just, just, just let it go. Stop going on about it. It's okay. How are we all doing? How are we all doing? End of the week. Oh, I didn't catch that. What did you say? I said technically we did go live before 12 o'clock, so... It's we, real winners again. We did, we, did, we did three minutes to 12, I think, something like that, four minutes to something, something like that, something like that. It's all the same, it's all the same. How are we all doing? How are we all doing? How is the week ending for you guys? Are we all good? Are you all good? Are you all having a happy Black Friday? Have you all bought all of the incredibly good value deals that are there in the world? This No, no, there is no good deals. It's disappointing. For those that may... I mean, a lot of you guys will probably... Uh, probably only be aware of me and Bibi for the last 12 months or so. Obviously, that's when I see you started to take off. So that's when most of uh, you guys will have jo uh, joined us, dropped in our streams, dropped in uh, our social media stuff, some of our charity bits, whatever, the podcasts. Yeah, it's fine. But... Um, I've been a big fan of Amazon Prime Day and Black Fire, uh, Friday and things like that. I always share bargains. I always go bargain hunting. Um, the Jelly Media office, I mean, I'm a bargain hunter, but mm. if you ever came into the Jelly Media office, I look like an absolute amateur compared to Mr. Bamba. <laughs> like, literally, there is there was a Christmas tree stack of boxes in terms of there was boxes. There were so many of them. They had to be stacked in order of high priority, so they were stack upright, and it literally looked like a Christmas tree of, of boxes. Um However, he has a company so he can do whatever he wants. He can have a store. he can have a storeroom that's meant for stationery and just be full of Christmas presents. I'll just take this all those great. things. <laughs> uh, see, I would I'd happily do that, but there is nothing that interests me. I mean, there's some things that are good. There's some things that are a decent bargain, like the, the fact that PSN for 12 months is 35 quid rather than the usual 50 quid ish. But you can usually get that cheap from some code website, like a whatever anyway, or there's often discounts and stuff. So that's not really the great bargain that it once was. Um, but I'd usually pick up other bits. I usually, I was telling Bibby yesterday when we were in the studio that like HDMI splitters and things like that, they've all kind of been discounted before. So you don't really need that sort of stuff. So even even the crap wires and the little components of electrical bits that, that, that we have to, uh, as men, buy. Genetically, we are engineered to put things in drawers. And you need that wire adapter, converter cable. Yeah, absolutely, I'm keeping that. I mean, literally, if I lean over to my side, first thing I pull out of my drawer is... Um, some headphones. Have a <laughs> oh, that's the different draw. That's the different draw. Yeah, there is. So I've got. Um, what, what did you say? You want you want a ten meter USB extension cable? Yeah, I've got one of those too. Yeah, of course I have it. Why would you not have a ten meter USB extension cable? <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. I buy, but literally there is nothing, nothing like that. The only thing I've bought was a twenty nine pound jumper. It was a Levi's plain white sweatshirt, literally bog standard stuff, but something that I would probably just pick up if uh, I was mooching around the Trafford Centre. It would usually be 45 quid. Uh, it was 29 yeah. quid. I was like, okay, well, there we go. Mother-in-law uh, needs to get me a birthday present. She's giving me some money for it, so that's what she's got me. Ta-da! So it wasn't even like buying for myself. It was buying for myself from someone else. So, yeah, <laughs> disappointing, disappointing. Have you, have you seen anything decent, babe? Yes, I've got myself a brand spanking new TV. Um, I, I can, well... I've mentioned a lot of times on this channel that I have 4K capabilities and never experienced it in my own household. I now will, as of Sunday, be able to do that. I'll be able to play Skyrim in 4K, which is exactly what I wanted it for in the first place. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I've got, I've got the capabilities now. I'm going to say, obviously, I was saving Guardians for that as well, so I can now play that in 4K. Yeah, it's just, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good old time. That's that's all I've got today, though. That's all I've got. Walk into Bibby's house and, and it's like, where's Bibby? Bibby, are you here? And then you just hear from the living room, hey, what's the matter? <laughs> I get my big black draped uh, dressing gown on, just be partying around the house, you know, with my headphones on. Just kicking, find the, somewhere. kicking the cats like they're those little lizards. <laughs> <laughs> Bibby's rolling around on the floor with a cat, Coco just hacking the shell. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't how it's supposed to go. This isn't how it's supposed to go. That's what they signed up for. <laughs> uh, but if you guys are in the chat if you guys have got anything for Black Friday sales or anything if there's anything out there that you're interested in that you're keeping your eye on anything that you're thinking do you know what it's 10 past 12 anything that's decent on Black Friday usually gone by three hours ago but are you hoping that there's some lightning deal or some last minute thing that gets thrown up do let us know I would love to see it uh, if you're in the chat though do feel free to let us know even if you're not getting anything uh, with the Black Friday sale let me know let me know Lake says you fucker me I fucker you <laughs> good morning 
Frank. <laughs> <laughs> just, just what we like to see. <laughs> uh, almost time to close my working laptop and go home. Good to see you. You'd love to see you. Uh, are you? Um, yeah. Are you? Doing any land stuffs this weekend, or are you recovering this weekend, Lake? Uh, for those of you that don't know, Lake um, went to a 24-hour LAN last weekend. If you're in our Discord, exclamation mark, Discord. Uh, if you're in the Twitch chat, uh, you will be able to find it. If not, just just drop into a Twitch chat and then just type exclamation mark, Discord, and you'll find it. Or just uh, message us on social media. You'll get the link to our Discord there. We can we can share it. We can share it. Anyway, in the ICU Discord, uh, Lake was giving us updates on his adventures of his 24-hour LAN last weekend, and um, and we absolutely 100% weren't, weren't jealous at all. Not not even the slightest. Who cares about playing video games with mates for 24 hours, drinking nothing but any drinks in the dark? Like, I don't know. Becoming, Eat pizza. Yeah, fucking good. And to make it Eat worse, um, two of the... Uh, Team ICU slash Jelly Media uh, homies are representing or, or were representing at Arcade Club yesterday, which is pretty much the same thing, but even more organised. I, yeah. I think we're letting ourselves down, babe. We're missing out on all the lanage. It's, 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 I did say to him, I was like, so when you go in, I was expecting him to say Saturday, because you, even you do the Saturday at Arcade Club, it's 11 to 11. You go for the full day, man. You're not good driving to Bury. I mean, it's only like 30 minutes down the road, but you ain't driving all the way there just for a couple of hours, like you see 11 to 11 shift, you're having two pizzas, you're having numerous beers, you're having a good time. And they went, they said there was going about three o'clock on a Thursday. I'm like, what's the point in that? <laughs> you're there for like four hours. That's like scraping the barrel of it. Oh, that's like the fair. warming up case. We'll, we'll let them off because they are doing the recon. They, they, they're making it so that we can go and have some like Team ICU world-class takeover events and stuff. And that might not yeah. be what they're doing, but that's what we're saying they're doing. And that's what, that's yeah, what we're yeah. believing they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, PES 2021 live services are back, by the way. Also, uh, they are updating the rosters, question mark. Are they? Are they? Is there a, is there articles and stuff? Link me up, Leek. Uh, Tazebad says, hi, all. Good evening, uh, Tazebad. How is things down under? Dick, uh, Dick, Dick, not not Lake, but Dick, saying the Lux shirt, not Lake with the Ducks shirt. Okay, there we go. Uh, Lake saying, Duck shirt, this I've had for years, and I think I've maybe worn it once. Um, and Bibi was saying, like, is that Duck shirt? I was like, yeah, yeah, but I went to... Um, Went into the loft and this shirt I bought ages ago. It's, I don't think it's real. Um, it's got like the CC, is it CCM or, or whatever it is? That, I can't see it. That makes the um, uh, the shirts. I think this is basically a DH Gate special, but before DH Gate existed, I've had it for that long. I think it's a knockoff kind of thing, but but it, it does the job for me. It looks like the uh, D Two Mighty Ducks jersey. I'll wear it. That's fine. Nice. Uh, timeless. G- good morning, good sir. How are you, timeless? Hey. Uh, how are we all doing? Everyone dropping in from Big Ham's stream. Do you know what? I'm gonna. Uh, I'm, I'm, I can only call him Big Ham. I can't say the last three letters of him. I can't say ish. him. No, we, we can't even say it. We can, we can say ish, but we can't say him. Space different word ish because this this fifty percent of ham today he's had fifty percent of which I thought was actually time. actually nice to see like he um his, his stream title was fifty percent of big ham so naturally people were going fifty percent of but when they did that he, he cut his camera in half so he got fifty percent off for Black Friday <laughs> genius genius got to give it a applaud I'm sat there thinking wow well done, that is a visual dad joke I I am here all day for that kind of thing <laughs> dad jokes are my repertoire baby. <laughs> If if you were never sure whether Ham had kids or not, forget the fact that we've got pictorial evidence and we've seen them on streams okay. or we've heard them and stuff, then that is undeniable proof that Big Ham is a dad. The, the, the dad stroke is strong with this one. Nice. Um, coolest logo in the history of NHL. It's badass. I once drew this um, on, I think it was Call of Duty World War Two. Is that what it was? Or was it World War One? I? I can't remember which one, what, what it was called. But they allowed you to create your own like emblems with all the shapes and stuff and you've got like 60 layers and i remember having to piece together loads of tiny little bits to make the ducks logo yeah um uh how are we doing timeless are you good uh i will buy 1400 uh no uh, 1400 euro home cinema and 200 uh, euro bluetooth speaker nice you're going for the full surround sound was it you that was talking about home surround sound in the discord last week actually lake lake i think it was right right um i want to see it once you've got it all set up give us the digital tour pictures videos all that jazz uh, the most ironic day of the year irony is when you celebrate a day of thanks uh are grateful for what you have with friends and family around you then 
24 hours later, you're scrapping, punching, kicking, and fighting like a kid's animal with someone over a TV that, uh, from a brand that no one's heard of. Happy holidays, all. I mean, that's what it is. That's that's. So we started off, if you've just dropped in from Hamstream, hi, again. Um, we started off by talking about Black Friday. We absolutely adore Black Friday um, on ICU. I usually splurge shitloads, so much so that I keep talking about things. I even asked Nietzsche a couple of weeks ago, he was like, is there anything I should get for my stream setup? I was like, potentially loads of bits, but wait, Black Friday's coming. Discounts, discounts, discounts. Nothing, nothing. It's the, I mean, I put a tweet out, and I, I think I mentioned it to uh, Nietzsche as well, in the fact that this Black Friday sale is the 39p energy drink equivalent of TVs. That's all that's kind of out there. If you dig, you might find something that's okay. But there's, usually you'll get that one thing that's just one thing. I don't know why it doesn't even... You get it, you get it. Anyway, but not, not so much this bit. Um, uh, sorry to mean to pull this link. <laughs> so I'm not going to click it. I'm not going to click it. It's one of those follows links, isn't it? I know what it is. Um, we bought a washing dryer machine. See that? Adult life. Adult life. Treat yourself to my exciting time. Let's do it. Mr. Bibby Moneybags, we need a loan, please. <laughs> Bibby Two Lambos. That's what it's called. Uh, also, coffee maker uh, for my mum and uh, a screw you gun? What's a screw you gun? I, I need to know. I was tempted to pick up Guilty Gear Strive, but it's still too expensive. Uh, no lands, only hockey and beer. Nice. Uh, I follow a rapper slash spoken word poet, and he shuts his store down every Black Friday. This year, he shut his, uh, down his store and instead is selling donations to shelter. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you like that. You like that sort of stuff. You like that sort of stuff. What What? What a guy. What a guy. Um, uh, oh, there we go. We've now finally caught up with where we got to with a big ham raid. Thank you very much again, ham. Are you, are you off early-ish? Are you got plans for the day? I expected... At least a couple more hours of big ham times. I appreciate you dropping in, though. Hey, hey. Uh, Kane! My God. My God, it's Kane! Uh, Bully! Hey, hey, hey. Uh, you were second choice, I have to be honest. Was looking to raid Nietzsche, but he has them turned off. Do you know what, Ham? Actually, um, he messaged me last night saying, just in case you try tomorrow, um, I am going to be streaming, but I've got raids turned off. So I said, that's fine. That's fine. What I I'm going to do is... As we get to the end of the stream, just spam his link in the chat. Make everyone go over to Nietzsche's stream individually. Click that link. Go over there now. Click that link. Go over there now. Once we're sure everyone's gone over to Nietzsche's link, end stream, and then host. We'll make him take our support. I won't really. I won't really. Um, because he asked not to. But but that's, that's what I told him I was going to do anyway. Uh, bit rude. Bib turned his back to us. We can't read his lips now. Oh yeah, it's, it's it's one of those calls. So that, you wonder where Bibby gets the, the money for the Lambos. He's currently he's currently being a very naughty boy, and he's talking through people. The punishment, you know, you know, you know. Screw gun, ah, automatic, ah, automatic screwdriver. I was like, I, I thought it was, I was like, screw, screw you, gun. <laughs> uh, plastering a wall with my dad. Oh, geez, see that actual actual work. I would uh, to be to be fair. I have done some plastering in this room, to be fair, and it's not too bad. It, Although I plastered the room and then had to sand it down afterwards because it just looks shocking. A good plaster is like, zoop, smooth. Me, not so much. Uh, make him take that raid. Exactly. That's what I said. Individual links. Click the link. Go sit in Nietzsche's chat. I'm not, we're not finishing the stream until you're all sat in Nietzsche's stream. Go. Go. Like that. That, that kind of thing. We still might do it yet. We still might do it yet. Anyway, while Bibby's on the phone, let me give you uh, an insight into who we are, what we do, why we are here, and what you can expect over the next hour or so-ish. Uh, so my name is Graham. This ignorant git is Bib. Uh, we are Ice Cream Uploads. It's not really ignorant, on the phone. Uh, we are Ice Cream Uploads, and in true Ice Creamy fashion, this is The Scoop, the UK's number one video game podcast. If we do say so ourselves we go live on twitch each and every single weekday at 10 a.m ish ish it's now 20 past 12 we do go, we try to go live at 10 a.m we work in the video games industry the work comes first the streams we fit in around that so we go live at 10 a.m ish uh if you haven't already and you are new here do what Lum uh, lumbus has just done drop a follow on the channel that way you do get notified when we do go live with the scoop it's 10 a.m ish that's that's all you need to know anyway if you are in the chat with us please do feel free to get involved as we um lotus thank you very much for the host i love you i love you um do get involved as we 
do stream on twitch.tv forward slash ice cream uploads each and every single weekday at 10 a.m. ish with The Scoop, the UK's number one video game podcast. We then will give you our impressions within that stream. We want your impressions, though. So if you're in the chat, please do get involved. We then also want your impressions on our impressions. And it's important that you give those because we turn the live stream into a podcast, a video that goes on YouTube and an audio podcast that goes on iTunes and Spotify and SoundCloud and Google Play. There is lots of places where people watch and listen on demand. Over 105,000 people, I'll have you do. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. please do get involved. Exclamation mark, loot drop before we jump into the conversations, though. If you don't know, subscribers get prizes, or at least one subscriber gets prizes. And this month's prize is a, is a pretty good one. See this hat on my head? The banger. Absolutely. See, the, see this hat there, just, just on Bibby's head? That one there? That, yeah. Well, these are part of the first ever run of the Ice Cream Uploads uh, blackout baseball cap. We had 15 hats made, only five curved peak, five of the flat peak. And then we also had five of the, uh, the LA Dodgers style hats made up too. Anyway, we are giving one of those hats away. There's only 15 hats in total, five of each in the world. We're giving one of those away in December. So if you're a subscriber, whether it's paid, whether you got a gifted sub, whether it's a Twitch Prime sub, whatever whatever it is. By the way, do check out because 20 people got a gifted sub yesterday because Aratrax just threw down, just came in, threw down, yeah. just drifted off into the sunset because that's what it can do. Um, so yeah, if you're, a, if you're a subscriber, make sure you're in our Discord because if you're not in the Discord, you don't get into the giveaway. You have to be in the Discord. You have to have your Twitch and your Discord accounts linked. If Discord can't see you as a sub because your accounts aren't linked, we don't know. We can't see it. So yep. so make sure you're in. You gotta be in it to win it. Facts. Facts. Also, um, shout out to uh, the people that keep the channel powered. Exclamation mark insert coin in the chat. And exclamation mark muscle moose. If you want any drinks, do you want any snazzy clothing? Do feel free to type that. You'll get discount codes. Yeah, nice. We don't earn on either of those codes, by the way. They are just codes that have been given to us for our community for you guys to save money. How nice is that? Good call, babe. Uh, apologies for that. You know, we just talked about me getting a new TV, and that was AO asking where they need to come down, how many steps to the premises are there, is there anyone that can help me in the house with the TV, and to make sure that I don't pick it up by the actual screen and by the side. I'm like, listen, mate, I'm hosting the UK's number one video game podcast here. And he's like, oh, shit. Are you, are you on the scoop? <laughs> yeah, he understood. He was like, "Is it the Michael?" It oh, I nearly, I nearly doxed myself oh, there. Oh, uh, oh, is it the Bibby? <laughs> I mean, it should, it should be common knowledge what my actual name is by now. Um, but if you if you don't know, then clearly you don't know me well enough. I'm, I'm going to spoil it. Okay, is is it? We call him Bibby, but his real name is Michael Hunt. <laughs> is Mike Hunt? <laughs> Okay, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not really. <laughs> Wait, it's not Bibby. <laughs> it's just, you yeah. know, do you know what? To be fair, it's like loving our seal. I knew. I had a feeling his first name wasn't Bibby. I was completely blue screening when he told me his last name wasn't Bibby either. I was like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> "It's Bibby Bibby. What you're about?" <laughs> <laughs> Neville Neville's long lost cousin. <laughs> Neville Neville. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the. That is one of the best jokes ever. That. I remember buying, I think it was like, I, you know, second time this week I've mentioned Premier League stickers, but it was like, I'm pretty sure it was like Premier League 97 and used to get like McDonald's stuff. So certain stickers on the back of them, you'd get like a free cheeseburger or free fries or whatever. And the other ones that didn't have that, you'd get like little facts and quotes. And it was like, did you know Gary Neville's dad is called Neville Neville? And it was like, <laughs> whoa, seven-year-old Graham's completely sent west for it. This is amazing. Uh, it was a Jason Manford joke, wasn't it? I don't know, was it? I, I've, I've, right, I thought that's where you were going with it. I didn't, right, yeah. <laughs> Jason Manford does a joke on it. I'm sure it was Jason Manford about Neville Neville. Um, obviously talking about Gary Neville. Uh, honest to God, if you can find it on YouTube, watch it. You will be in absolute bits. I'm going to have to look at that it's, now. It's amazing. Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm going back like, like fucking... 30 years ish, 25 years, whatever. <laughs> no. for the... Jason Manford did it. He, he did a joke about it probably like 15, 16 years ago. Uh, but yeah, it's it's amazing. It's so funny. Uh, speaking of amazing and so funny, by the way, if you guys didn't see yesterday's scoop, don't worry. You didn't miss a lot of news because we had four stories. We got through two stories and we spent a good old chunk of time looking at pictures of people eating nuclear noodles. 
There was a parrot. There <laughs> yeah. was a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> there was a parrot. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going to explain why, because t- t- to be honest. I was in that stream, and I don't really remember why now. All I know is it happened. So if you want to watch yourself something, if you want an hour of laughs, then do feel free to go check out yesterday's stream. That was one of the most interesting scoops that we've ever done. It was good. It was good. It was good. Uh, not not educational, not really inspirational, but, in, but, but entertainment value, I suppose. Nice, nice. Uh, bacon chin, good afternoon. Exclamation mark, bacon chin. What the fuck? What, did we have a bacon chicken command? I don't know. What's happening? Um, I don't think we did. Okay, scrolling back up. Scrolling back up. I've missed all the things. Uh, a bit... Oh, no, I've read that one. A bit rude. Bib turned his back. He did. He did. How dare he? Yeah, did. Oh, uh, I didn't want to dock me a dress. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Bully says, Nichi who? Uh, uh, you know, actually, do we, I think that is a thing in it. Do we have a? We have, we've got a Nietzsche command. We don't have a, a bacon chin command, obviously. But I think we've got an Nietzsche one. Um, uh, Bibs on the phone, making them big money moves, selling this player on Football Manager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wish I was his agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lumber says, "What size is the ice cream van? Uh, have you seen those like stretch Hummers? That, but yeah. but bigger, basically. So we we've got room for all." All the homies, all the bros. You get me? Um, wait, it's not baby mind blown. So he's having the baby with what he just said? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm confused. Time has passed. I can't remember what we said. Um, fucking hell, Neville, Neville, Jesus. Did you not know that? Did you not know that that, that was Gary Neville, Phil Neville's dad's name? Mr. Neville, Neville. Unfortunate. Our niece only found out his real name about two years ago. <laughs> You're not Bibby. <laughs> Very true. Uh, Obviously, me and Samantha have been together like 11 and a half years and she's only just realised. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, and wetting yourselves. It was hysteric. It was a good stream. It was a good stream. Uh, Mrs. Bibby, we, uh, we feel sorry for you. Big hugs. <laughs> uh, I remember you getting that sticker. It was when we lived near Quicksave. Uh, the... What the the Premier League one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was. It, there was loads of them. It was on like you got like it was like a mind blowing fact until you got it for like the fifteenth time because it was like on a Tim Flowers sticker or whatever, and everyone had Tim Flowers because because it wasn't shiny and standard whatever. Lotus though, BF time. Enjoy, enjoy this, guys. Timeless says you need to start doing a pre show to the scoop. That way you can get all the laughs and giggles out, and then focus and get through all the stories in the scoop. Make no, because people then just won't turn up for the scoop. They'd all turn up for the pre-show and then bugger off. It's like, ah, nah. <laughs> yeah. We're only here for the bounce. We're not really here for the news anyway. Speaking of the news, it's time to get involved. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five stories to get through today. Yesterday we had four and we managed two. Let's see if we can get through all of these today. Um, we will lead things with the fact that apparently... This is the article's title, not my words, by the way. Apparently the only way to beat PS5 scalpers is to make a bot of your own. If you can't beat them, join them. That is by Sean Murray at The Gamer. That is how we are kicking the conversation off today. If you're after a next-gen console this Christmas, to be the scalp, you have... No, to beat the scalp, you have to be the scalp. Apparently. Apparently. So that's what we're going to jump into. We'll then jump into the fact that Xbox says it's improving video capture quality and sharing is a priority. Uh, We know we still have work to do here. Uh, We'll then follow that up, sticking with Xbox, uh, with a look at the fact that they've been sending out Xbox anniversary gift packages to random fans. Neither of them are me or Bib, so that's a little bit disappointing, but but it's fine. Uh, Jumping over to the other side of the console war. There there shouldn't be a war, but that's, you know, it's it's just words. It's provocative. It gets the people going. Uncharted 4's PC and PS5 version removes multiplayer, a ratings board suggests. So if you're looking to pick up the Uncharted games and, and play through Uncharted 4 on PC? Well, you can do, but but not entirely. And finally, we'll tell you how to pick up Dead by Daylight free. You know, hashtag free game Friday. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Bib. Hello. Uh, after a PS5? <coughs> no, because I've got one, Graham. Oh, that's good news then, because that means that you don't have to be a scalper to beat the scalper. Apparently, the only way to beat PS5 scalpers is to make a bot of your own. If you can't beat them, join them, says Sean Murray at The Gamer. This is our first news article of the day, and he says, Scalping is a problem, and not just for next-gen consoles. People are scalping Pokemon cards, exclusive mini-fridges, and even limited-edition cookies. 
What? Okay, I don't know what that one is. Uh, to make a quick book. The problem isn't just uh, that scalping is legal and apparently effective, but it's putting every regular human customer at a disadvantage. That's because today's scalping has become automated. It used to be that scalpers had to wait outside of warehouses or be the first in line at box stores to gain inventory. But in today's digital age, all they have to do uh, now is learn a bit of coding. They can unleash their bots upon the world's online stores and reap the profits. One of the biggest targets of online scalping is naturally game consoles. The PS5 and Xbox Series X and S have both suffered from chronic inventory pro uh, problems, partly because of the global chip shortage, but also because scalpers are just getting uh, at whatever inventory exists before everyone else can even click the buy now button. CNET recently did some investigative reporting into the world of scalping and found that it's gotten so advanced that the only way to beat them is to join them. After months of failing to secure a PS5, senior editor Jackson Ryan finally said enough was enough and looked into how he could get into the scalping game to finally bring down his white whale. He met Jeremy, a high school student who'd programmed his own bot to scroll uh, to scour retail websites for, quote, behind the, scene change, uh, behind the scenes changes that indicate new stock. Then the bot automatically hits add to cart for the desired products. Uh, because Jeremy is a nice guy, the bot also sends out a notification to Twitter and Discord followers was letting them know that new stock uh, is in at a particular store. If Jeremy wasn't a nice guy, his bot would have tried to buy up every new console and automatically entered his payout information to check out before anyone else even has the chance to log in. That's how Ryan finally got his PS5. After weeks of trying the old-fashioned way, he joined the Discord channel, got a notification, and was able to get a new console before stock ran out. The moral of the story? If you want a new console, you'll have to either get lucky, join one of these Twitter slash Discord groups, or build a bot of your own. Or you'll have to wait until the chip shot clears up whenever that might be. All I'm going to say is, uh, mm -hmm. Sean Murray at The Gamer, welcome to Ice Cream Uploads' information about six months ago. Yeah, we have been yeah. saying PS5 Stock Alert UK and other channels like that. Um, I think... Um, Stock Informer have a Telegram, which is basically WhatsApp, uh, set up mm -hmm. so that you get notifications when stock comes in. My phone, even though I've 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 bought a thousand PS5s and scalped them all <laughs> for a tidy profit of one penny, um, uh, still profit though, still profit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, Big dubs. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We've been saying that you should be uh, should be doing things like that if you want to increase your chances. It's shit that you have to, but if you want to increase your chances of getting a PS5, the best form of, of defense is offense. Go out there and put in your own things in place so that you get the notifications to allow you to get in there first. Never to the point where we've said, do you know what? It's probably good to become a scalper of your own. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not quite sure about the sentiment. I get what he's saying with this article, but my worry is that people are going to read that and go, okay, scalping's okay now. Let's do it. Anyway, what are your thoughts, babe? Yeah, I mean, this is probably going to be like a super stereotypical sentence that will probably eventually get me cancelled at some point. But <laughs> I think the only people that are probably going to end up struggling with this are just just parents that aren't interested in video games at all. They're the ones that are going to fall by the wayside on this one. Like, if you have no interest in video games or gaming and you need to try and get hold of a console, the old-fashioned way is to walk into a store and pick it up. It's a shame that we haven't got them on shelves to be able to do that because historically it was just as easy as that. But nowadays, if you are in the tech game, you probably are already aware. I mean, like you say, we were talking about this six months ago, like joining these discords. If you are a gamer, chances are you have a Discord account. Chances are you just need to join these channels to be notified as and when. it. Then it just becomes fastest finger first. It's not fastest finger first with the rest of the rest of the UK is just between how many people are in the discord. Um, so yeah, just having the notifications on, on certain discord channels, if you can join them or your, all these Twitter accounts will end up saving you a world of pain. And I think we, we kind of speaking to the room already because the people who are in this channel already know about this and people who listen to our podcast are coming to watch our video game stuff. They already know about this. It's trying to get that to the masses, but the problem that eventually they'll run into is if everybody becomes wise to this, you're fighting the same battle on two different platforms then. Because if there's 100,000 people joining these discords and then 100,000 people trying to buy them online still, the, there will be one set of people who will have a slightly bigger, uh, you know, advantage, shall we say, because they're going to get the notification first. 
but the reason most people are getting them as easy through the discords now is because there isn't that many people doing it so this is kind of more of a psa as to if, if people want we will put these links into our discord for you guys to be able to join these other discords because if you haven't got one now and you really want one then you haven't been doing your due diligence at this point because we've been talking about this for a while so if you really, really want one, we will put the information in our Discord for you to be able to go and join these other places and get the notifications rung on these Twitter accounts so when the stock eventually does come live, you are able to go and do that because no one else is going to do it for you in terms of you uh, putting your details in to be able to buy one on these websites. You literally have to have these notifications on on your phone. But apart from that, again, it's the it's the... It's the casual, not even casual, it's the parents or people that aren't interested who are buying it for their partners or buying it for their children and stuff. They're the guys that are suffering. And it's annoying that it's come to a point where someone has to build a bot themselves to be able to get ahead of the queue or you have to go through all these, like, people... <laughs> People who aren't interested in games probably haven't got a Discord account. It's alien to them. My granddad now has one um, so that he can find out what Channel City's on and stuff like that, but he's using it for a completely different thing. Like nobody knows about discord unless you have to know about it or you want to know about it so people are always going to be at a disadvantage it's just if you really want one or you know someone that's trying to find them we kind of need to educate them and tell them these are the ways nowadays for you to be able to get stuff before it comes onto the mass market because the mass market will always be at a disadvantage with this stuff yeah i agree i agree i mean i'll 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 go over my tips again um generally be around at eight and nine o'clock in the morning. I know that instantly takes a lot of people off uh, the table then. I can't be. I mean, that's not always what it is. Argos historically has had a lot of uh, up um, upload slash product drops at around three o'clock in the morning. That's not great for anyone apart from, from fecking bots. But um, yeah, generally, first things in the morning, that's kind of where you need to be. Lump Skynet, it has started. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Sarah Connor. It's, it's pretty much that's where we are right now. Oh, by the way, I, I missed this one. Vern, thank wow. you very much for the wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. For those of you that may have missed it, we stream <laughs> on official insert coin. We are part of the coin army. So official insert coin is the Twitch channel for insert coin clothing. You may have heard of them you might not have done they make basically the best genuinely this is not even because we stream on their channel we stream on their channel because they make the best gaming merch out there um speaking of which i was just about to shout out Vern for the host thank you very much for the uh, for the host um also Vern would would agree he's he's part of the uh, yes. the coin army massive too as well so um but yeah we stream on insert coins channels uh, because they make incredible merch anyway not our last stream because that was Call of Duty Vanguard the last stream we did over there was uh, Predator Hunting Grounds and in that we were learning how to speak like Arnold Schwarzenegger because if you're playing Predator you need to be able to speak like Arne so the easiest way to speak like Arnold Schwarzenegger and feel free to to play along at home uh, is yeah. stick your tongue out of your face uh, at that and then say where are you even if you're not doing the accent or anything, you will sound a little bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger, and then you put a little bit of the accent on, and that's it. You've nailed it. Wow. There you go. That's I love, it. Wow. I love the fact that people sat at their PC or next to their mobile phones now trying it. 100%. It works. Prove it. Uh, prove it to yourself. Do yourself a favor. If there's people around you, if you sat on a bus, go for it. They'll love it. Just imagine, fucking imagine being sat on a train, some, some bloke behind you. Stay you see somebody in the corner. Wow. You'll be, on, you'll be on someone's Snapchat story in seconds. <laughs> <laughs> just a fucking wow! <laughs> just some wow. sat there with his with his fucking headphones in. He's looking at his phone. <laughs> um, wow! You alright, mate? <laughs> you okay? You alright? And then struggling, tell him about. <laughs> and then they look down and see the scoop, and they're like, ah. I know, I know, I know. So anyway, yeah, my tips are one, stick your tongue out. No, no, no. My tips are genuine, like PS5 Stock Alert UK, I think the Twitter is. Um, that is very good. Like this one that this article mentioned about um, Jeremy, a high school student, instantly posting to um, to Twitter. That is what PS5 Stock Alert do. They instantly post out on Twitter. So if you've got yourself um, a PS5 in mind and you're an Amazon user, Add it to your wish list now while it's out of stock. Soon as you see that tweet, don't even click their links. Just go to Amazon in your app or whatever. Go to your wish list and go buy. And that's how I've managed to get two PS5s. One for me, one for Luke uh, in the office. 
made a penny profit on it. Absolute big things. Um, <laughs> so that's one way. The other one is uh, Stock Informer, which sometimes just getting onto Stock Informer's website could be like the first rung of the the um, the scalper backlog. Obviously, the, the issue with scalping is, or people wanting to buy everything at the same time, is it's like websites being DDoSed. They just get taken offline. It takes you forever to load in. Mm-hmm. So if you have to load into Stock Informer, and then you have to load into their link, which isn't a direct link to Amazon, it'll be a, a link to their affiliate uh, provider, which will then link to Amazon. That's three different links that you've got to go through. So mm-hmm. Stock Informer set up, counts. yeah, exactly. A Stock Informer set up a Telegram, which is really good because it gives you the link sent directly to your phone. However, I wouldn't recommend doing that either. I would do the same thing again. I would wait for for Stock Informer to tell you that it's in stock at Amazon, um, and then when you get the Telegram notification pop up on the screen of your phone, you then just go straight to your Amazon app and buy it that way directly without clicking through the links. You're not giving affiliate. Uh, revenue to these um channels but do you know what you, you're getting what you need and that's the most important thing at the end of the day so so yeah i, w- I would say do that follow stock stock alert uh, stock alert ps5 stock alert uk stock informer and things like that get yourself your telegrams and stuff set up profits yeah ideally not profit profits. ideally not profit because because that's helping that shit. <laughs> i mean unless it's a penny then you know every, everybody counts um uh, i'm laughing in the bus people watching me <laughs> <laughs> you're not laughing you've got your tongue out you're saying it like we know <laughs> uh, so yeah that's it that's how you speak like Arnold Schwarzenegger job's gone nailed it you learn something new every day so not only have we taught you how to get yourself an Xbox Series X or a PS5 maybe that new fresh pair of Jordans that you want uh, but we've also taught you how to speak like Arnold Schwarzenegger at the same time uh, I'm using mute on that <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> moving ahead. So that is the lead story of the day. Apparently, PS5 scalpers are expected to uh, try ruin Christmas again. We will help you as much as we can uh, with that. By the way, do feel free to start any conversations on that sort of stuff. If you are looking for anything specific, it's, it works well to have more eyes and ears out there. Obviously, people can give tips. We like to help people where we can. Be it with streaming stuff, we, we help a lot of people with, with camera issues, with technical mic issues with green screen stuff because we've been through all of that sort of shit we work in the games industry so we have a good understanding of all sorts of stuff that happens around it from retail right through to video game uh publishing not that we do the publishing but we've been involved in all of that uh, that sort of stuff so any questions are that, our discord is there feel free to ask away there's a lot of nice people in there antido mm-hmm. <laughs> He's okay. He's okay. Um, he's all right. He's, he means so hard. <laughs> okay, let's jump back through the comments while we do move ahead, though. Um, uh, prediction. You get through three, says Timeless. I did say we got five stories. How many will we get through? He said three. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, mm-hmm. So Xbox and Sony have predicted shortages till 2023, I believe. Is it that far? Because I, I remember them saying till mid this year, uh, last year. And then obviously we're at the end of this year. So they've said, then they, they were like, oh yeah, end of the year. And now they've said, okay, until at least tax. Actually, do you know what? I think you're right. Yeah, I think now you said that. I think it does kind of, I do remember covering that in an article. Timeless with the memory. You love to see. Yeah, so yeah, 2023. Shit, until then. And that's not, that's got no real signs of going away because it's not just like these consoles that are after the chips. It's consoles, it's smartphones, it's graphics cards, it's new TVs. Every new bit of technology out there, all of the manufacturers, be that Apple, be that Sony, be that Google, be that any Android phone maker, be that the console manufacturers, they're all after those chips and they can only be made as fast as they can make. So yeah, that will continue. The backlog will eventually whale down, but yeah. yeah. Um, I've been playing games since the later 80s slash early 90s, and I've never known a shortage like this for consoles ever. And that, that's because it's it's crossed out of the console market. I mean, the demand for consoles is higher than it's ever been. Um, but it's, it's, so it's console appeal has spread it out, uh, spread out beyond video games. So that ad- adds to it, plus the fact that um, obviously consoles share so much technology with other things these days that it's it's like a double whammy um that's why this is the uk's number one podcast delivering news six months ahead of the competition you goddamn right <laughs> uh yes atina says i deserve that i'm a dick you're our dick though you are our yeah. dick and we love you, you for it um, that's why you've got the sword my friend yeah absolutely timeless says phil spencer said it a few weeks back a friend of mine gave up and bought a ps5 and series x for near enough a grand a piece it's a shame i mean 
I would never begrudge anyone that does that. I would highly recommend that they never do that because you are paying over the odds naturally. Yeah. And if a scalper can sell it, then that gives them more incentive to sell the next one and sell the next one, especially if they're getting a grand apiece. However, that's that's easy for me to say that on my soapbox. I know that's the ideal situation. And another person that spent that grand on each one knows that too. They're thinking, well, I don't want to spend this, but it's the only way I can get involved. And for whatever reason it is, some people have the needs for it now, be it just the need for the, the escapism, be it the need for the societal demand on parents to deliver. It could be keeping up with the Joneses. It could be just not wanting to let your kids down. It could be whatever it could just be something like jordan enix he said that he um i think his is an actual condition in terms of he has um i, I don't want to pigeonhole and use other things that might not be the same but i'm going to do it just for the ease of my explanation so he has a condition where he needs to buy the latest things um um it's something he's aware of it's something he's trying to work against but he does it you'll see it all the time he'll be like, i just bought an xbox i've just sold an xbox i just bought a phone I just sold the phone I just bought it's a like an impulse, just, it? yeah it's, it's almost like yeah impulsive purchase kind of a, a, a disorder of that variety kind of thing so naturally people will do that and it, it's unfortunate that they do but it's also it's, it's just one of those things so that makes sense it's fine um uh, TSM Chi, the microchip manufacturer, says it's going to be at least 2025 till normal output rates are reached. Can we all in the chat just do a universal shh? <laughs> Fuck. That's, 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 half of the a, chat. that's half of a product life cycle. That's almost a full product life, life cycle. 2019 till 2025. That's six years. It's seven to eight years as a product life cycle. That's ridiculous, unless it's the Nintendo yeah. product, product, then it's 27 years, whatever. It's fine. Um, yeah, I told him not to. I said we were getting them in at work more regular, and I would let him know, but they all repay for that. It, no, it makes sense. I mean, it's we can't get on any, any high horses about it because we go, it's not right, but but if what's right for someone else is right, right for them. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Okay, apparently the only way to beat PS5 scalpers is to make a bot of your own. It's kind of. I mean, it will help. Uh, but you can do a lot of that without the need of coding knowledge just by following the right accounts. As mentioned, if you want any more tips, do drop us in the Discord uh, and we'll, we'll talk you through the best ways that we do it. That's nice. That's nice. Um, anyway, that's enough of not the PS5-centric bit, not that that was PS5. Uh, it was PS5 and, and Xbox, but what we are going to do now is jump firmly into the Xbox realm to have a conversation about capture quality and sharing as chris scullion at vgc has this article it says xbox says improving video capture quality and sharing is quote a priority uh, and then the tagline with the quote says we know we still have work to do here so an xbox exec has stated that improving the, the quality of video capture and the way it's shared on xbox series x and s is high on the company's priority list xbox's director of program management jason ronald was speaking to the iron lords podcast this week where he was asked if the company was planning to work on the console's game dvr which is in brackets is an in-game video recording uh, capabilities i will say this is a quote by the way i will say that game dvr is the one area the capture and share experience that i wish we we were able to make more progress on this year than we were able to, Ronald replied. It is definitely a priority for us. Ronald explained that while the team had been improving the quality of video capture on Xbox consoles, it knows there's still work to be done. Quote, we hear, we definitely hear the feedback, he said. We have made some changes and we have made some improvements to the reliability and the quality of the captures, but we know we still have work to do here. So that is is definitely a priority for us and something that we're going to continue to iterate on. You know, the best thing I can recommend is if you're not in the Xbox Insider Rings, get on the Insider Rings so that as we bring new capabilities and improvements, we want that feedback to know where we're meeting the bar and where we're not meeting the mar, uh, bar. But definitely message heard. And like I said, it's definitely an area that I wish we were able to make more progress this year than we did, but it will definitely be a priority for 2022. End quote. Ronald stated on Twitter back in January that the team was working on improvements to the capture and share experience, claiming that it was a problem for the team. His new comments suggest that these improvements are not yet considered complete and that further updates are in development. And then it just goes on to sales and stuff, which we don't really need. Before I give you the question, yeah, uh, my input into this, and this is someone that has an Xbox one s not a series s i have an xbox one s and i played a lot on my xbox one s 
obviously PUBG, pretty much the only game I played on my Xbox One S. Um, I then switched over to PlayStation to play PUBG um, when it came out on PlayStation. I was already playing other games on my PlayStation anyway, so I was fairly uh, very au fait with how to capture on the PS4 and how to capture on the PS5 and then how to capture and tweet that clip straight out from my console. Nice. Um, when I got the Xbox One S, I was very happy with that. Game DVR, the fact that I can capture something on my Xbox and then go onto a browser and see that. So when I, if I played on my Xbox at home, played PUBG, got a chicken dinner, and then was streaming on, on Ice Cream Uploads the next day in the studio without my Xbox and haven't tweeted that thing out, I could get access to that clip. So is, is Xbox not already ahead in the market when it comes to capturing uh, and sharing? Maybe not in terms of video quality, but in terms of sharing, it's definitely ahead of PlayStation and that sort of thoughts. Well, that's that's my bit. Um, so with that in mind, do you believe Xbox has any catching up to do or is it just a case of improving for their own own sake? What are your thoughts, Ben? It's a good question. Um, because... I. Th- I'd love to know how many people are actually using this for them to for it to be on their radar for them to be something that they want to get better at doing because it can look as good as it wants but if you try to share it on something like Twitter it's going to look shit it's going to look blurry it's not it's the Google video uh, sorry the Twitter video play is horrendous it takes forever to buffer and if it's 37 clip you've got 20 seconds of buffering and the 10 seconds might be really nice but then the video will start again and then you'll get another 20 seconds but like it it just doesn't work but if you are a content creator then surely you will already have a capture card set up for something like this or something that you'd save natively and then i don't know how many people are putting them on memory sticks and then plugging them into your pc like i was doing that on my ps4 five years ago before i got a capture card Timeless with the sub as well. Absolute legend. Three months. <laughs> Genuinely, when you said that I then, that. I, I saw the sub. I heard it, him, it, the TTS come through saying, give me more ice cream. But I thought you said Thanos with the sub. <laughs> so. I mean, if he wants to change his name, then he can do. <laughs> I've got no objections with that. Um, but yeah, in terms of... <laughs> like, I, <laughs> Sorry, continue. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to know like, how many people are actually using this function because for me, like you say, it is well, they are well ahead. The PlayStation, I think you can capture at 1080 and the file sizes are massive and stuff like that. But I mean, I've been out of the Xbox game for a long time. I did, I genuinely didn't know that you could actually put your clip onto a website and then yeah, I imagine you can save it from there in 1080p onto your natively onto your PC. So you don't need a USB stick to be able to capture that clip and then you can post it wherever you want and edit it if you want to. Like that's cool. I didn't know that that was even a feature on Xbox. Uh, I am just, I realise I've not put the discussion now on the screen. I'm doing it now. Um, is that, that's well going to be too big, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. I say Xbox, come along. Well, Asim says, uh, good that they're improving the captures to share the social experience. It's buggy in terms of the video stuff, and it's not as intuitive or as easy as a PlayStation, which is an absolute benefit. Like this button here, boom, press that, uh, long, long, long press that, you record a... Um, a clip you press it once it'll require a screenshot and then you just post as and when you want to that's that's amazing see i have um, different, i have different settings so i have press it once um and it brings up the capture screens option so i can choose to save a screenshot or save a video mm-hmm. um and the, and then if i double press it it starts recording and press it again and it stops the recording so i have different a different setup uh on mine yeah um but yeah, I mean, Tito kind of agrees with with Mr. T and saying video capture is clunky, not easy to do, it's slow, cumbersome. Uh, but the biggest issue is the capture editing and share app shuts down the game without uh, warning to run it. Oh, really? Yeah, see, I mean, I had those issues on PS4 uh, quite a few times. I remember playing in my club, excuse me, on um, PlayStation. I went out, captured, uh, caught something, saved it, and then I think I just went to just instantly fire it out came back in and obviously it uh got rid of the game lost my connection made me lose the game it's like great i got a great goal but it doesn't mean anything um but obviously that's that's hardware restriction stuff but uh um oh chat's still rolling okay i'll keep i'll keep going uh yes please uh i will forever be known as thanos please thank you very much a thanos yeah. soul i appreciate it. um i'll say half a thanos soul because you know half the souls have gone me 
So that's what it is. Ads! I'll read it. The only thing I, I like on Xbox is the way it links to the mobile app. There's a mobile button slash option once you capture it. If you hit that, it pushes to your mobile app so you can download, save, and put it on social uh, video, that is. Yes, I remember seeing that bit. Um, it was in a news article. I don't know if it was around the launch or when it was added in. That's quite a nice function, the fact that you can get, get to it and save it. Haven't PlayStation copied that, or are they working to copy that, though? Because I remember seeing an article on that, PlayStation copied that. Um, just seen a mobile game I quit a couple of weeks back, has had a loot box with items with a 0% chance of obtaining. Ooh. Great! Nice! Yes! Yeah, so, I mean, absolute surprise mechanics there, because if you get it, fucking surprised. <laughs> uh the new Xbox controller has a share button. Uh, you can set it to whatever you want. Uh, can you both stop being bragging bastards about what you have? <laughs> no, that's we're here to talk about things. God damn it! Um, I mean, that's that's. I think that is like we've mentioned it before. I think that's a geo um, related privilege. The fact that we're in the UK, uh, we have a good amount of stock for such a small island in in the world uh, compared to like particularly the Oceania regions. You guys get so much less I, 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 that's not a, a, a whole of market like um, s summary by the way just from what I know from the people I speak to it seems like the UK particularly the north of the UK it gets enough stock that they can get what they want whereas Oceania no not so much um, yeah I like that just general quality needs to improve it's not as vibrant uh, as when you're playing so they need to sort something out there okay okay see my my like I said my st standpoint on this is one of the most frustrating things about PlayStation, and this is multiple different levels as well, not just being a user that wants to brag that they've just had a full squad wipe or whatever in PUBG, but even capturing as a content creator, um, taking things from PlayStation to a PC required a USB stick more often than not. Or you could post it out onto Twitter or things like that, and it was just a pain in the ass. It's like, okay, I've got to rip it from Twitter. Nobody wants to rip a Twitter video because, damn, what the fuck is that? Um, so whenever we'd be capturing bits to uh, put Ice Cream Uploads videos together, so we did some Pez stuff, Some um, like we did the inaugural tournament, and we had another Pez tournament in the past um, on ICU, and we wanted to get highlights of those games, and that required us like saving clips down, putting them onto a memory stick, taking that memory stick, plopping it into the PC, whereas... Xbox, it may not have been the same quality, but we had functions where we could just get access to the content. And I thought the, the DVR that Xbox had was definitely game changing instead of pushing in terms of pushing the mic ahead. That said, I didn't re I don't really remember the quality of the content. I always assume that anything that I spaff out from my content from my console is probably going to be poorly formatted or below par or low res or whatever anyway um do like the fact though as always that xbox are improving video capture playstation have been doing that sort of stuff i do kind of feel that xbox has the has the potential to to get mm -hmm. further quicker than playstation has on this because of the microsoft element any any sort of content cloud upload sharing stuff xbox are already there um and and dabbling in that environment under the microsoft moniker so i wouldn't be surprised it's more of a social console on that respect then uh, possibly possibly i think that's probably a good way to put it because because their their infrastructure is built to work with others playstation is working with others to allow them to work with others and, and by that i mean if you're on a playstation you can jump in a chat with other people on playstation or the playstation app um that PlayStation app is on your phone, but not on your PC. So we're, we're going to get Discord to build those bridges, whereas Xbox is already in the environment where it's, okay, we're building for PC and Xbox. Your Xbox is a fridge-looking PC. That's what it is. Whereas PlayStation, it's definitely a games console. So in that sort of sense, I... <laughs> It is. It is. In that sort of sense, um, looking PC. It is. <laughs> um, so yeah, Xbox. I, I. I wouldn't be surprised if Xbox do start to run away with that. Um, PlayStation tends to not really evolve within a generation on its its content capture and sharing. There may be some slight tweaks. You might get like I can't remember what version of the console software. Say we're on console software version three. Obviously you get version 3.1, 2, 3, 4, whatever, which are iterations, but then you'll get version four where you get some big updates. We do get some stuff like that um, spread out across across the generation, uh, the lifetime of a generation, but not usually like ma major leaps. So I think as well with yeah. the Discord stuff happening, I, I, would be, I wouldn't be surprised if PlayStation has sat on, okay, any content sharing, any party chat stuff, 
our game-based stuff. We're still not quite sure where we want to be with that. I would... I think we'll get some evolution, but I wouldn't be surprised if it if it doesn't happen for the next 24 months while they look at Discord coming in and how they build off the back of that. Whereas Xbox, I could see them probably rolling something out. I mean, obviously, they've said not this year, but next year. They've said it themselves. They're looking to hopefully have something then. So wouldn't be surprised if Xbox starts to run away with that sort of stuff. Next thing, they just need to kick Twitter and make it so that if you're recording a 30-second video, the first 15 seconds don't look like you're looking at a smashed lasagna, as Bibi would say. No, thank you. Smashed <laughs> lasagna. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have so much stock uh, for a shit house of an island. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, yep. Yeah, uh, once you've got the capture, the share functionality is great. Exactly. That, that and that's that's the, that's the cool bit. I mean, I kind of, I didn't really, I don't really pay attention to the capture stuff because I know that like something that you capture, even on a, I don't know about PS5 as much, but on a PS4, you play it and then you look at the capture the capture just doesn't look like for like it's not the same same sort of quality so i just assume there's always a drop off there anyway so maybe i didn't take that on board but yeah i would absolutely love to see xbox run ahead with that because playstation will then have to run and catch up which is good nice everyone everyone wins everyone wins um uh they had an event uh which you need to spend $1,100 to fully complete. No other way. The rewards were these loot boxes where they didn't indicate what would be in them. People are going mental now. They spent 1100 and got truly terrible rewards. I just... it's The thing is, though, is like... It's, it is stupid. It is stupid. But why are people spending 1100 on something where they don't know yeah. what they're getting? You are part of the problem. You are part of the... Why you do this? So I Unless guess, you're like a content creator that your entire business is around opening packs and creating content off the back of that, that's a stupid amount of money to be able to play. Yeah. like The, the, the people who are spending £1,100 who are full-time content creators will get that back in a couple of days, in maybe even a day. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's insane. Like they are. That is their business. That is their corner shop where they will get in fourteen crates of monster because they know full well it's going to go within the month. They are speculating to accumulate. And again, it's anyone that's spending that amount of money on something that's virtual is. I don't know. I think yeah. you need to get someone to look after your own finances because I would never even contemplate trying to do something like that. It'd ruin yourself for nothing. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I'm, I'm, I'm on board with half of their anger. A, a, a crate that's just stupid stuff. It, it, any form of loot boxing generally has my backup potentially. That was obviously I used the word generally and potentially because that's not always the case. Some of it is decent and fine, but, but. But loot boxing in general, when I talk about loot boxing, I'm not talking about any form of surprise mechanics. I'm talking about what we all would know in class as loot boxes. That is what this sounds like. Okay, I instantly get my back up at that. Loot boxes that have a 0% chance, that's not a loot box. That's just yeah. a box because that loot is not there. You could say, look at the picture. It's not in it, though. If I can't get it out of it, it's not a loot box. It's just a box. I'm paying to open a box that has no loot. It's a shit box. That's what it is because loot is usually, oh, there's something good in there. There's just shit in it. It's a shit box. No, thank you. So you've spent 1,100 quid on a shit box. The shit box and having zero percentage is one problem. You spending 1,100 quid on it is another problem. They are not necessarily like contrasting problem. Uh, no, they're, they're, they're linked problems. They are kind of linked because you put them together, but that's two separate issues. Let the fucking brands deal with their shit and you sort your shit out and then, yeah, nice. Uh, uh, I never spent money in the game, but it was a top 50 game in the world. Some people spend hundreds of thousands every year. To me, it's obscene. I mean, I get it. Some people, that is where some people's enjoyment is. But the people that spend that money and then complain about it, it's like, you... okay. <laughs> I mean, this isn't 2006, Loot boxing has been in games for 15 years, probably longer now. So surely we should be aware about it now, especially... Yeah, anyway, I'm glad I quit. It's predatory and was worried I was uh, addicted. Actually found it really easy to quit. It was just FOMO. Do you know what? 100%. I played, mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't loot boxes because I wasn't putting money into it, but I played Pez Manager, which I think got changed to Pez Card collection or something like that um they are still two separate games by the way yeah the, the, there was like a lot of people think oh yeah i played pez manager but but i'm thinking you're probably not thinking the same game that i'm thinking because there was they changed the name 
from Pez Manager to buy Pez Card Collection when they released a Ped. It was like Pez Club Manager or something like that, and then they released mm-hmm. Pez Manager. Oh, I, I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, but I played that every day for about three years, as did um, Ben um, from uh, a now defunct website called Pro Revo, as did... Um, I don't remember who else was actually in that. We had a little Google Hangout. That's how long it is. People were using Google Hangouts. Oh, my God. Um, but we played it every day, day in, day out, for, for like three years, and we're all sharing pictures about, uh, I've, uh, well, we've got what was basically another loot box. But if you play the game for long enough, you get energy balls every day. Yeah. Energy balls is basically in-game currency. And if you get enough energy balls, 25 energy balls, you can do a big spin, a big pack opening kind of thing. Um and I was thinking, do you know what? When I want to get rid of this game. I'm, I don't know if I'm if I'm going to be able to give up. But like you say, as soon as you put it down, it's like actually, do you know, it wasn't really scratching an itch. It just yeah. created an itch that I think I needed scratching, and that was the FOMO. As soon as you get rid of the FOMO, not interested. Um, not that the game was bad. It was just it was. I had so many other games out there that could have filled my time with content. Um, so I rather than playing put time into that Pez Club Card Collector Manager mobile thing, I went and played more Pez. I've just changed my itch for a different itch. So, yeah. If you spend 1,100 quid on a thing and you, and you can't afford it, change your itch. Change your itch. There you go. Uh, moving ahead. Sticking with Xbox, though. Would you like some free Xbox swag, babe? Oh, do you know what, Graham? I love swag. Tough! You're not having any? <laughs> oh, you, maybe you are. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you are. I mean, I'm probably not because I don't have Xbox Live or any of that. I mean, you're an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscriber, so maybe you'll get some stuff. But this article, mm-hmm. uh, written by IGN uh, today, actually, up to pace. This is written by George Yang at IGN. As you can see the title on the screen, it says, Xbox has been sending Xbox anniversary gift packages to random fans. Xbox Fan Fest attendees get some cool items. Uh, so to celebrate Xbox's 20th anniversary, Microsoft has been sending out free Xbox gift bundles to random listeners selected people who have previously registered uh, registered for xbox fan fest actually have you registered for xbox fan fest babe uh no i unfortunately haven't so the bundle uh, the bundle is called the keepsake kit it includes a halo themed xbox series x and s controller a subscription to 12 months of xbox game pass ultimate and a crystal plaque the plaque also has the person's Xbox gamer tag laser etched into it. Uh, a note was included in the bundle as well. It reads, as a thank you for being a part of the 20 years of Xbox, we're gifting you this FanFest 20 years of Xbox keepsake kit. This is a limited edition kit created for randomly selected Xbox FanFest fans to commemorate our journey from past, present and future as an Xbox community. We have included a 20 years of Xbox crystal. This is engraved with your gamer tag. We extend our gratitude to you for being a part of the Xbox Xbox community the reason for this journey. The note also mentions uh, that this is also the 20th anniversary of Halo and that people who receive this celebration gift are the first to receive the Halo-themed Xbox controller. Xbox has done plenty to celebrate its 20th anniversary already this year, such as stuff. We don't need to go through that sort of stuff. We'll talk about (laughs) just this now. So Xbox is giving out gifts like this one. Let's have a look at this one from this dude from Canada. Not Canada, but Canada. Um... Is it going to load it up? It's loading. It's thinking about it. It's whirring. There we go. So there is Trencher. That's his his uh, gamer tag. That's his crystal that Xbox has sent him. Uh, let's skip to the next image. There is the Halo controller uh, and these 12 months of Game Pass Ultimate. And there is the note. This. This is beautiful. This mm-hmm. is beautiful. I mean, I know a lot. Uh, not a lot of people have got them, and I bet the number of people that have signed up to FanFest has just like quadrupled this last twenty four hours because people are thinking, "Oh, I wonder if I'm getting late if I can get one as well." I want, I'd like one of these. Um, but I love shit like this. This is good. I mean, everyone likes an incentive. Hey, you're an Xbox person. If you do this, then we will potentially give you something at the end. That's incentivization, where you're you are making people do something with the goal of getting something out of the end of it. This is better. This is just random rewards. Do you know what? That was fucking amazing. Here's a gift. Random rewards is when you are ahead of the game. If you're incentivizing people to take part, um, then you are you you are forcing the growth of a community. Random rewards is what you do, and if you can do it wide enough uh, to have... Uh, I'll, I'll, butchering my words it's it's an exceptional tactic uh, that 
is extremely valuable if you want it to grow a community and you want that community to be self-sustained. If people think, do you know what? We just get rewards for being good people, then people we will be good people generally. If you reward people as a result of being good people, you tell them that they're going to be, a, uh, if they're a good person, we will give you a reward at the end of it. People are rewards and incentive driven. That means once they've got their incentive, they can start to think, oh, well, the incentive's gone. There's no reward for being good now. I'll just go back to being a dick again. Whereas, whereas mm -hmm. this makes people want to be good. And it doesn't even need to be done. For a brand to be doing this, it shows that they're ahead of the curve in terms of their own thoughts. When was the last time PlayStation did something like this? And and this is this is not me coming like sticking sticks in PlayStation as an Xbox fanboy or something. I'm sat this you can see there, there's a PlayStation logo on this jacket behind me. I I I have a PS5. I don't have an Xbox Series console. Um, I I am uh, console agnostic, uh, m m m more ambiguous. Uh, I I I probably align more with the PlayStation console than I do with an Xbox console. But this the, <sighs> Xbox are on point and their marketing is 100 percent better than playstations and has been consistently all the way through this campaign and this just is another notch uh another string uh another bow on that string whichever way it is so ggs what are your thoughts babe yeah again it's just we mentioned it i said something to you before about xbox being the social console and that's the way I've seen it for probably like the last three or four years now since they started to bring out, uh, since they started to try and claw back to try and make up some of the ground that they ended up losing. Like they've got the ear to the ground with this stuff. They're trying to reward their players. And a lot of them didn't even know that this was coming. This was just something that because they've always already signed up to Game Pass Ultimate, because they were signed up to uh, Xbox Fest or whatever it was that you asked me to, to if I'd signed up to, like they they did this off their own back. There was no incentive for them to be able to say, okay, if you sign up to this, you may get something. It's just something that they'd already done. And then Xbox going, do you know what? These guys have done it. They deserve it. I don't know whether or not they've got a stupidly high uh, gamer score or anything like that, or they play it, they, they've got a constantly high um, online status. So I don't, I don't know. But regardless, they're rewarding the people that are backing them. And you can't grumble with that, regardless of what side that you're going to sit on, whether or not you're the red side in Nintendo, blue side PlayStation, or you're just, uh, you are a PC gamer. If, you're, if your chosen platform is rewarding you, for your loyalty then you can't really say anything more than that can you like it's it's unbelievable it's it it just works though like you'll see every now and then something like um nando's like th there's a couple of different ways it's worked in nando's they used to have nando's black card which the, the, the nando's black card was it entitled you and everyone that was eating with you to free nando's um and they gave them out to celebrities like like ed sheeran and uh, KSI or whoever have had Nando's black cards and they'll go in and they uh, get meals but they can also use it for other people so say if Ed Sheeran or KSI or whatever's in Nando's and they see a full table of other people it's like can you put their Nando's on our thingy kind of thing and it was meant to be just giving free stuff to people you give stuff to give to other people Nando's then did that a different way where they had on their receipts something called random act of kindness. So you will go yeah. to the till and it'll be 80 quid. It's like, okay, I want to buy this meal uh, for me, my friends, the kids, whatever, um, uh -huh. 80, 80 pounds. And then Nando's go, no, it's free. It's like, what do you mean? It's like, there you go, look at your receipt. And it just says Nando's random act of kindness. I've not done anything for that. The fact it's an 80 quid meal, I mean, it's not a 20 quid meal, but it's also not a 300 quid meal. What? Where yeah. did that come? It, there's, no, there's no rhyme or reason. It's just good shit. And that means that... that okay, I've got a little warm patch now. Like, like I'm moist. I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. Nando's, yep, yeah, that's it. You've won me forever. I'm probably... I could come back and have a few shit meals, but I'm still going to have a place in my heart. And I'm going to put it on social media and people that are around me are going to know about that. And it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And that's what Xbox have done here. It's like, do you know what? You're a random fan. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, do you know what? Here you go. I have some stuff. We know that's going to create some PR, so it's good for us as a company, but it's also really good for you. And it's good for everyone around, uh, around that sees it as well. And everyone now that that is a periphery gamer that's not a content creator that's not an influencer it's not a games brand channel so they're not going to get any merch drops and stuff they're probably thinking okay i've not signed up for the halo insider program but i probably should do that i've not signed up to the uh, xbox insider programs for the uh, latest console updates and stuff testing the uh, stuff that we just had in the last article the capture stuff but maybe i should do that because that might and and it just makes people go do you know what i've seen that if i just be a part of this community 
I get the chance of winning stuff. That does eventually drop off because people get um, that fatigue of, ah, do you know what? I'm never going to win it. It's like people that play the lottery for a few years and then give up. I'd never won anything, not bothered. It's that sort of thing, but it's it's good. It's good. It's, it's nice to see Xbox doing stuff that they don't have to be doing, rewarding people, pushing the envelope, and just, yeah, high fives all around. We'll have some of that, please. Thank you. And at Xbox, we actually will have some of that, please. Give us a big, nice Xbox crystal. Team ICU, nice. Yeah, and that'd be amazing. Xbox full on watch this podcast all the time. It just, just oh, as, every uh, day. Listen every to day. me going X boss box kind of stuff. Phil Spencer's <laughs> pissing himself. Literally. We are definitely deserving of it. <laughs> uh, Tito with the uh, exp- exclamation mark game pass in the chat. Nice. Uh, well, a butch- that hair crocodile. Uh, d- dead game, that Pez. Uh, literally, dead game. Doesn't exist anymore. Well, ish. Um, e football now. Nice. Uh, I never spent on oh, no, We've done that bit. Um, did you know that if you have an Xbox, you can get Game Pass, where for a low monthly fee of only ten ninety nine, you get access to hundreds of games, including day one releases and even EA games. And you, need, you can even get the first three months for only one quid. Nice. What the hell? Xbox doesn't love me. I'm good because my 20 year museum doesn't have my OG Xbox history for some reason. Yeah, mine. We spoke about this yesterday. It's, yeah. it's broke. It starts it's from like 2008. I know the first game that I ever played on my Xbox 360 was Saints Row. That was the first game I got on my 360, yeah, and it's not even listed there. Mine's FIFA 08, I think, and I had FIFA 07, and I had PES 6. So I've I've genuinely no idea. I don't think it's as accurate as probably what it did to be, but it, which is a shame. I, yeah, I don't think agreed. I got... Um, uh, what was it? What was it? It was Saints Row and Lego Star Wars. That was the other one. They were the, like the launch games that came bundled in with mine. Uh, I had PES 6 as well. I played a lot of PES 6 on my Xbox 360. Um, and Xbox things. My first played game was PES 2008. So if Bibby's first game is FIFA 08 and my game is PES 2008, then that makes me think that the game's going, hmm, yeah, the console only recognized anything from there. Um, but it was kind of yeah. it was kind of accurate after that in terms of, my most played games were uh, PUBG um, because of my Xbox One uh, S generation, but then through the 360, it had Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Battlefield, Bad Company, and then PES, I think it may have been 2008 or something like that, 2012, whatever it was. So it does have some of my games uh, in there. It's all right, but the early stuff's gone, yeah. Um it makes a difference to the usual new customers only who get good stuff as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. If if, it, if it's not new customers only, it's influential customers. Are you are you famous? Okay, you get stuff. Are you new? Okay, you get stuff. Oh, so you're loyal. Oh, no, sorry. We don't have any loyal prizes. No, you guys are loyal. You're always going to be here. We'll take you for granted. And yeah, it, it goes beyond that. So it's nice. Um, same with me, Tito. Oh, West, West, I'll read. Uh, claimed Halo 2 was my first game. Uh, it, it, yeah, it just cuts off. Don't, yeah, we'll let we'll let it go. It's still better than my PlayStation uh, year in review kind of thing last Christmas. I played PUBG for three hours or whatever it was. Uh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> prep work. Oh, for all intents and purposes, it's fantastic, but I just don't think it works as well as they wanted it to. Yeah, yeah. Um, prep workers used to be allowed to give out free coffees and meals to customers they felt deserved them and were loyal. Same thing with Greg's actually. Um, I remember going into Greg's. And I, I, I'd gone in and I'd got myself, say, a breakfast butter and a brew. Two quid, nice. But then I was going into the office, so I bought a box of four donuts three times. So 12 donuts, four, four, four. Um, and wanted to pay for it on my Greg's app, just like a beep, jobs are good and scan. But it didn't work. And it, and it, like the woman on the till came up and she was like, it's coming up as like 25 quid. I was like, 12 donuts and brew and a sandwich, 25 quid. Yikes, I'm not Krispy Kreme. And, and she tried something again and it came up wrong again. And she went, you know what? Um, I, I'm going to press, uh, and Greg's have a red button on their like till dashboard, which is make it right for the customer. And if they press the red button, basically the whole thing just gets written off and you get to keep what's there. <laughs> I was like, yoink! <laughs> but I know now. I, I, I've had three more fucking docs, uh, boxes of donuts. God damn. <laughs> so I, 
I was like, yikes. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Okay, we started on the Starbucks app, like having to put money onto the app to then buy coffee. That is fucking outrageous. Yeah. But, yep, yep, yep. Here we are. Like the McDonald's app, if you want to buy something, just pay for it off straight off your card. Job's good. And if you're at home and you want to buy something from McDonald's, you can order from Uber Eats through the McDonald's app. Nice. Starbucks, no, you got. If you want to order for something from Uber Eats and you're a Starbucks VIP customer, like I am, because I spend so much money at Starbucks, uh, like I get like free. <laughs> Um, extra shots of coffee and free syrups and free whatever in my coffees. Want to go to Uber Eats? No, Starbucks. No, we don't get that. You're not, you're not a Starbucks customer. You're just an Uber Eats customer. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Um, uh, guess who's sitting down to dinner after a half day on placement? Is it Bibby? Iceman. Is it Bibby? It's Bibby, in it? <laughs> it's been a three and a half year placement. <laughs> I think my first game was Project Gotham Racing or Metropolis Street oh. Racer, whatever was the earliest. <laughs> Bacon Chin. 25 yeah. quid? This is the north. Oh, no, to be fair, I actually, we went down to Windsor um, a couple of weeks ago, not, mon- not Monday gone, maybe last Monday, I can't remember when it was, and went to the uh, Dum Dum Donuttery at London Euston Station. Um, bought 12 donuts, I think it was, and it came to like 40 quid. My my northern mind was like, what is this? I mean, they were good to be fair. Yeah, because it was it was for a business meeting. I wanted to rock oh, up, right. rock up with big dirty donuts. I mean, they were good. They were good. They looked fucking amazing. Um, and and they were like when I say like you, a normal donut is like sort of that sort of ring sized kind of thing. These dum dum donuts literally were like that. They were fucking huge. Uh, it was good. Good. Um, it probably only registers from the point you first went online, which makes sense. No, I, I, I yeah, that's what I kind of said, which it's almost like anything before that gets lost. And then as soon as you make that digital handshake, which was the words that I was talking about with Bib when we were talking about the other day, maybe it's some sort of digital handshake and it goes, aha, digital account, online created. Now we start tracking stuff, um, which, which kind of makes sense. But that said, I played PES 6 online on my Xbox 360. Um, because I was still at home, um, at my mum's house with that one, so I, I, I'm not sure. I think maybe it's something like that, but but there's probably that's probably not the the catch all. It's probably something there. Um, four pound delivery for McDonald's my way. Yikes! Uh, I did pretty much from day one on the original Xbox, and info for me was pretty accurate. Only missed out the stuff before I got onto Xbox Live. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. It's, I think. It, I think it's probably. That's probably. It's probably a multifaceted thing. Like I said, because I played PES Six online. That was the first PES I played online. I didn't play PES Five online on the PS Two. PES Six was my first uh, Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty PES, and that's when I got my Wi-Fi adapter and I played it online, and it was fucking terrible. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Tesco ring donuts, job's good and absolutely. Tesco, just the sugared ring donuts, 80p4, world class. You mm-hmm. love it. You love it. Anyway, enough of that. Let's move on to our next story. Uh, we're going to have to pick up the pace now because we are overrunning. Timeless says three stories. Sorry, Timeless. We're going to get through all four because we're going to go through this and the last one is just a little bit of a wrap up. So do you know what? If this was yesterday, we would have been closing this down. So you're not far off Timeless. We'll, we'll give you that one. Uh, this article is written by Tom Ivan at VGC. He says, Unfa- Uncharted... F- I almost said Unfarted there. <laughs> Unfarted Chaw. <laughs> nope, Uncharted 4. There we go. Un- <laughs> Unfarted Chaw's PC and PS5 version removes multiplayer a ratings board suggests. Legacy of Thieves may not feature online play from the PS4 game. So Uncharted Legacy of Thieves won't include a multiplayer component classification, uh, classification body the ESRB has suggested. The upcoming PC and PS5 collection, which contains Uncharted 4 and expansion The Lost Legacy, was announced in September and is set for release next year. While Uncharted 4 launched with a competitive multiplayer mode and later added a cooperative survival mode, both of which are accessible to Lost Legacy players, Legacy of Thieves' new ESRB classification states the upcoming release has no interactive elements. That's a quote, by the way. According to the ESRB's ratings guide, interactive elements include online features such as the user's ability to interact with each other. In contrast, the board's Uncharted 4 and the Lost Legacy classifications both reference online interactions. It's unclear why publisher Sony would not ch- uh, would choose not to include multiplayer with Uncharted Legacy of Thieves, but we've asked for comment uh, on the ESRB rating. To celebrate Uncharted 4's fifth anniversary in May, developer Naughty Dog released a list of stats about the game, which it said had attracted over 37 million players, including 13.3 million uh, multiplayer users. I think we can stop there, though. I think we can stop. Yeah, it's going into the film and everything else. That's fine. Uncharted 4, in the Legacy of Thieves, uh, uh, Legacy of Thieves, should I say, uh, in the PC 
and PS5 versions of the game won't have multiplayer components. What are your thoughts, babe? Yeah, I haven't really got a dog in this race because I've, I've, I've never really played Uncharted, but from someone from the outside looking in, does this stink of them potentially adding it later as maybe a paid expansion or something that will look a little bit better? Or they just they, they know that not many people are going to play it, so they're not going to include it. I think it's got to be one of those two, right? Yeah, I mean, the interesting thing is I would have kind of been more, do they anticipate that there's not going to be that many people? But Naughty Dog has attracted over 37 million players and 13.3 million multiplayer users. So that that stat alone would suggest that they have some appeal there. I mean, for me, I'm a big Uncharted fan and I haven't played a single minute of multiplayer. Maybe I have. Maybe I've played five minutes-ish, but not not anything that I can remember. I may have gone, this is not for me. Um, or I, may have, I, I did it in either the Last of Us or Uncharted, at one or the other. I can't remember which one, and, I, and it was it was all right, but it wasn't it wasn't for me. Long 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 game. I don't believe that. I speak for everyone there. Not if thirteen point three million users have played uh, Naughty Dog, um, Uncharted online. So I don't know. I don't know. What what do you, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Mm. Is this a, is this an issue for you guys? Is anyone else looking at picking up um, the what's the actual name for the series? Is it? The, uh, the Uncharted Collection is that what it's called? The Uncharted Collection. Um, we'll just go with that anyway. If that's not, I, th- I was thinking that was the older one, like the the one that I've got for the PS4. We'll just go with that anyway. Uncharted Collection. If that's what it's called, let's go with it. If it's not, we'll go with it anyway. So that coming to PS5 and PC, would it matter to you that it doesn't have the multiplayer elements? I know that mul- uh, it's, it goes without saying, Uncharted is a single player experience primarily and that is a secondary component is the fact that the secondary component is not there does that matter to you guys um or not what do you think is the last of us 2 multiplayer still in development apparently so i can't remember if it was officially confirmed we have covered it though that it is still in in the works um i don't know whether it was official comment or just rumor but we have covered it previously um does this matter to you bib I mean, you've not played the Uncharted. Would you play the Uncharted games? And if so, would you be gutted that the multiplayer stuff wasn't there? Do you know, if it was something that I would have expected, because if this kind of stuff, like if when things get cut from games that I love, we'll talk about the Clock Tower of Resident Evil for this example, then yeah, it does piss me off. Being in the video game space for such a long time, I genuinely didn't know that that many people played Uncharted online. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I could have got away with never knowing that there was an Uncharted version uh, of the game online. So for me, I don't think it's a big deal. But everyone obviously has, if they loved the original one, and now it's it, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Graham. I mean, it's I imagine it's each to their own. But if they have done it, I think it may have been because not many people played the other one. Yeah, I mean, it maybe isn't worth the time. <laughs> I, I kind of go that way, but Mr. T has said uh, a few times in the past that I'd, factions at least. Last of us, what I can yeah, understand. Yeah, factions at least was good. I don't maybe 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 this was solid too. I can't quite remember. Mm. Do you know what? We'll put a pin in. I'm not enti- not entirely convinced, but that's that's the gist of it anyway. Uncharted, the Uncharted collection, whatever the name for that uh, port to the PC and PS5 is. Uh, it's probably going to look the shit, but in terms mm-hmm. of uh, multiplayer stuff, well, then at that point, you are shit out of luck because it doesn't look like it's coming. That's if the ESRB classification is anything to go by. Usually, though, that that's kind of on, on the ball, so we'll see. We'll see. We are just about to finish wrapping things up, though. A couple of things first. Don't go anywhere because we are going to stealth raid Nietzsche. We, we can't raid him. He's put a raid block on his channel. It's his first stream. He doesn't want the pressure, but... but he, He'll thrive, he'll thrive. So we're just going to go over one by one. We'll sort that out after we finish the show. We do have one story, though. Don't go anywhere just yet. Um, as we'll tell you how to get Dead by Daylight for free. Um, yeah. Do you know what? I won't even go through the full article. I'll just tell you. Epic Game Store. There you go. There you go. Free Game Friday. Done. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, no, if you... If- yeah, I won't, I won't go through the full article. I will high-five Matt Wales and Yuri Gamer as they have this heads up for us, though. Dead by Daylight is free on the Epic Game Store next week, as is... Um, I'm going to bring this out on screen because re- me reading it out, you're not going to understand what I'm saying. As is Wild True Learn, um, which is Wild True colon Learn brackets, which I'm assuming is something coding related. Wild True Learn. Um, so yeah, Epic Games giving two games away for free next week. One of them is Dead by Daylight. One of them is Wild True Learn. Nice. Make sure you get them. Fill your boots. 
jobs are good in. If you're on PC and you're not, you've got no intention of playing these any, anytime soon, just get them anyway. Add them to your library. F- forget. Nice. Jumping back yeah, to the previous story, Mr. T says Nathan Drake collection is the old one. One, uh, two, one, two, and three. Uh, the new one is four, and the Lost Legacy called Legacy of Thieves. Okay, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so the Legacy of Thieves collection. There we go. That's it. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was because Legacy and Legacy of Thieves. And what's what's four called? Like, what's the name of Uncharted Four? Is it some that's got lost legacy? No, no I, it's I, something. I can't, I can't remember. It's something thieves or something. I can't remember. I can't remember. So it was just all kind of sending me sending me west. I couldn't figure it out. But anyway, Epic Games Store, Dead by Daylight free. As is Wow to Learn. Fill your boots, get it all. Jobs are good. And we though are done. Thank you for sticking around for a full week of the scoop. That's five streams we've yeah. brought you Monday to Friday, um, and they've been good. They've been good. There has been a lot of support, a lot of viewers, a lot of people chatting, gifted subs, a ton of follows you guys are ridiculous the support is incredible let me just also let you know that we are now at two six nine seven three followers away from twenty seven hundred three that is ridiculous thank you very much appreciate it very very much um we are going to finish things up we are going to drop a raid on nietzsche but we can't so we need your help to go over one by one we will provide the links for that i've set up a command for that specific purpose but before that yeah mr bib yes is, is there anything you'd like to add yes again thank you very much to each and every single one of you that have joined us for five days worth of the scoop we will be back on monday with a big one Oof. a massive show <laughs> 500 episodes of the scoop will be live on monday so if you want to help shape that milestone show then there is two ways that you can do so. First of all, find us on social media. It is at Ice Cream Uploads across all major social media platforms or get involved with our Discord. If you are watching this on any of our on-demand services, go into the description below. All the links that you require will be listed there for you. But all we need from you is the URL plus your thoughts and opinions. We will then give you our thoughts and opinions on the very next show, which will be at what time on this momentous occasion on Monday, Mr. Graham Day. Well, Mr. Baby, episode 500 of The Scoop will be on Monday at 10 a.m. Ish. Ish. 500 fucking episodes. 500 different days we've sat down and recorded content. 500 days where people have listened submitted their thoughts and opinions, their thoughts and impressions, given us the stories to share, help shape the show. It's, it's ridiculous. Thank you very much for, for keeping... It's a shame that he wasn't in the show because we could have had hats, we could have had party poppers. We may do that on Tuesday anyway, but yeah, you know what I mean. Right, in the studio? Aye. Aye, aye, you said in the show. I was like, it's got to be in Sorry, the show. Yeah, in, in, in the studio. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the audio cut out. He said it's fine. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, 500 episodes next week. That is incredible. Appreciate everyone that stuck around for that. Um, we've not made a big song and dance about it. We will put some social bits about it, though, when, when it gets to that point. We don't want to, like, obviously sing about every single milestone because 500 is only is only going to be that milestone until the very next day, then it'll be 501. But still, we will yeah. su- will support it. So if you're not doing anything on Monday, we would very, very much appreciate it, like we do every other day, if you could drop in on us. 500, even if it's yeah. just, do you know what, 500 GG boys, let's go, and then drop out and go back to work, whatever. It would be appreciated if you could do that. You don't have to, but we'd love it anyway. Uh, for now, though, it would be appreciated if you guys will spend a little bit of your time just going over and saying hello to someone that has, has actually been a huge support for us recently. So if I do exclamation mark Nietzsche raid, it will give you a bunch of links. I'm going to press return in a minute because I'll read what Tito said. Oh. You spent more time going on about your birthday than the 500th episode. Yeah, exactly. Because my birthday is next Friday. I don't know if you know about that. It's only one week. This time next week will be my birthday. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, Nichio, <laughs> Nichio, Nichio. Oh, no, this is the one. Boom, Nichio Ray. There you go. It'll just oh. spam five links in the chat eventually. So if you all now just click that link, go over to Nichio's channel, drop in, say hello. Basically, we can't raid him. He's turned the raids off. He's a really good guy. He's a really supportive guy. So just drop in, say hello, Nichio. Good to see you. Um, what we are going to do, though, is drop a host on his channel because we can do that one so go over drop in stick around for the host drop in say hello we'll do that we can't raid him but we can host him so do that yeah nice yeah. agreed deals lovely have yourselves a fantastic day brought from uh, from ice cream uploads an episode 499 of the scoop what have they got to do babe
Oh, he's not live. Is he not? Fuck. Pathetic. He's, he's, he knew it was coming. He knew it was coming. Ah, oh, okay. Do you know what? Stick around then. We will. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll find someone else. We'll find someone else. Yeah. Okay. From from High School Rumble, in episode four hundred and nine. The scoop. What are they got to do, babe? Stay frosty. Yeah.